What is up guys, I'm back here with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can run root apps in your non-rooted Android phone and in this method we're basically going to be work in our that secondary web that I showed you in my last video. So if you haven't seen my last video then go and check my last video, the link will be in the description and also you can press the i button here. So let's get started the processing of running root apps in our non-rooted Android phone. And the most important thing is for the full video and don't forget to subscribe my channel as I upload regular technical videos. So this is our primary OS which is non rooted and let us go and set Lucky Patcher and let's see what Lucky Patcher gives us if we do not have root and inside any apps uh, menu of patches we can see only one feature that Lucky Patcher gives us if we do not have root. Now let us move to our secondary OS. So this is our secondary OS which is Android 5.1.1 Lollipop and for rooting this you just need to go to settings and after going to settings you have to go to system settings and then you need to go to about phone or about device and then you have to click seven times in build number so that you can enable the developer options okay now it says you are now a developer and our developer option have been turned on let us go back and as you can see here is a here is the developer options let's go inside the developer options and you can see here the rooting option just enable it for getting the root options and after you enable it, it will say you to restart VMOS. So let us restart it. So the OS is restarted with full root functionality, and you can now have root operations in your this OS. Uh, for becoming sure that it was rooted successfully, let us import Lucky Patcher in this OS. For doing this, you just need to go to the file transfer or file importation manager and make sure that you uncheck this option and let us fi find for lucky patcher okay here is lucky patcher let us just import this to our uh, secondary os okay it is important let us install this now okay once it is installed press done and let us go to home screen now so here is lucky patcher we just installed let us open this and let's see what lucky patcher offers if we have root okay it it's already asking for root permissions uh, lucky badger is requesting super user access just allow it and click remember choice forever so as now we are running lucky patcher in our rooted os let us see what it offers menu of patches and you can see here all the root features that lucky patcher usually give us and we got all of this but in our main primary os which is not rooted we do not guess we do not get uh, that much features we get only one option here create modified apk file but if we root in our secondary os we get all the options and features that lucky patcher give so thanks for watching my video if my video helped you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and support me and hit the bell icon after pressing the subscribe button and see you again in my next video till then take care and stay well and pray for me